Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tico here, bringing you guys a video showing you guys the fastest way to get, earn Sany or money in uh, Budokai 3. Now, this thing, this way right here, I was actually way in the past. I had actually read something about this, but I had not actually tried it ever myself. Is normally when I play this game, I just go ahead and do what I do, uh, what I showed you guys last video. I just play the crap out of the computer and break the crap out of it in the Soul Games or Advanced Tournament, and I just take care of them that way and get money quick that way. But uh. When I actually was reading, uh, when I posted this in the game in the forums in the Game Facts uh, website, and somebody actually reminded me of this, you know, somebody actually posted it about this, so I asked about this, and uh, yeah, apparently you can actually exit. Since I actually never really tried this, I'm just bringing it to you guys now because I never really tried it. But apparently, whenever you get the money, whenever you get the money, and you actually pick up anything that you pick up while you're playing in the story mode, while you're roaming around, apparently if you save and quit the game right after and then you put new story you appear again right at the beginning you know and you'll still be able to capture get all the uh... you still keep everything even if you quit you see what i'm saying like you save after you get the money but you quit the story and then you restart it again and you still keep all that money you know but i, I was thinking like in the past i was thinking that if you quit it and that like, you save it and quit it since you quit it you don't keep it or something like that I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking that, but anyways, here's the video showing you guys all the spots uh, where you can get the zany, where you can get the money. And as soon as, as soon as soon as you get all the money, you save the game, you quit it, then you start a new story again with a kid Gohan, and you go to the same spots again over and over and over again. Each time earning, earning somewhere between uh, uh, forty-five thousand and fifty k. So it's a pretty good way, you know. You get like fifty, about forty-five to fifty k every minute or so. So depends on how fast you go to each spot. So. There we go, it's the fastest way to get money in the game. Uh, but now, to talk for the rest of the video, I actually want to talk about something that, you know, I think a lot of people don't usually get, because I've heard this before, and, you know, people always want to talk about it for some reason. And actually, this guy started, <laughs> this guy, there's this guy in the comments from, like, another video, and this guy actually got upset, because I said, uh, like, this Z3 difficulty in this game is not actually in difficulty. So now the way I see game difficulty in a game is by the way the computer fights, and I will actually explain right now how the difficulty works in Budokai 3. Since it seems some people don't really understand the way it works, there are five difficulty modes in Budokai 3. There is very easy, easy, normal, hard, and very hard. Aside from those five difficulties, there is no other AI difficulty in the game. And by what I mean by AI difficulty is the way the computer attacks, the way their attack patterns work, the way the teleport pattern, their teleport patterns work, everything. The way they normally play, the way they fight, only changes between those five modes. In the other modes, Z, Z2, and Z3. The computer fights exactly, and I mean exactly identical 100% to very hard. If you're somebody that's played these games a lot and know all the ins and outs of beating the computer, beating the crap out of the computer, which is why I hate playing against computer because the computer is very predictable, especially in the hardest difficulty, because they follow a very certain pattern for teleporting, and the higher the difficulty, the easier it is to predict when they will teleport. They'll hit harder and they'll try to fight harder and they'll teleport more often. But that, in a sense, is a good thing because it'll be more predictable for you to see exactly what they do. Now, the reason why I say Z3 is not difficult, the same word for the Z1 and Z2, is because the computer does not get any harder. Now, the difficulties in this game, as far as it goes to AI difficulty, whenever you actually go to the game difficulty, the options, the difficulties only affect only affect listen to this they only affect dual mode where you fight versus and they only affect story mode now there's two settings there's one that where you can actually change it for Z3 like Z1, Z2, Z3 and the other one only goes up to very hard that one that goes up to very hard applies only to dual mode the other one that goes up to the Z3 difficulty is the one that applies only to story mode now, for story mode purposes, the computer always gets tougher and they always uh, increase their level, that way they do more damage, take less damage, do more damage with ultimates, use less energy to teleport and do special attacks and such. Now, as soon as the difficulty for story mode hits very hard, the, the, the computer, the way they attack, all their attack patterns and everything, reaches like at the highest peak point. They do not get any harder than that. The Z1, Z2, and Z3, all they do is increase their level stats, but it does not increase their ability to fight. It does not make them any tougher whatsoever. It just makes the fights longer and more drawn out. And if they do hit you, it's going to hurt more. Anyways, see you guys later.